Welcome back to you craft everyone. Today we're going to take a look at some applied energetics because I need storage space. So for that we're going to need some certus quartz. We're also going to need some charged certus quartz which I think I have more of somewhere. I just can't remember where but 31 is definitely going to get us started. Let's see. That applied in energistics. So one of the things we'll need, we will need an ME controller, but that won't be first. One of the first ones is gonna be a charger. We're gonna need fluix crystals for that. It is charged serious quartz, nether quartz, and redstone into a puddle. Uh, wait, what was that? <laughs> Nether quartz and redstone. Okay, so that is doable. We have a nice big puddle over here. Um, we are going to want to turn the magnet off. Still have that on. And it holds its charge, like it holds charge very well. So put those in there yeah look at all those come back to us nice um let's go see if I can find more charged certus quartz because this is well really all we need the certus quartz for uh maybe here yeah, there's some there. And I got a puddle over here. Still need to, uh, well, we're gonna, gonna try to, yeah, there it goes. Look at it all bubbling up. Nice. Gonna move these eventually. I'm a little, uh, a little too lazy to move them right now, though. So, we have a lot of Sirtis Quartz. We can, oops, missed the elevator. Put that guy back on, we'll put him back up at our neck. And we need some iron. And we can make one of these guys, a charger. We also need, looking for it. This guy, energy acceptor. We're missing some quartz glass, which we're gonna have to, let's see if I can pulverize or crush this. Yeah, I can. Uh-oh. Oh, interesting. Well, that's... <laughs> That's a very efficient way to get pure Certus Quartz Crystals. Huh, I have to keep that in mind, because usually what you do is you take a piece of dust and uh, mix it with some sand and you get some quartz seeds. I guess this does give you two. But this takes forever to grow up. You can see it says this item won't despawn. That's how long it takes to grow now you can use uh from ae2 yeah if we have it a crystal growth chamber this and these growth accelerators um will help it grow but if we can get pure stuff just like that then uh, i think that's how we're gonna do it all right now we need some glass which I left here. Yeah. All right. Back to applied energistics. Energy acceptor, quartz glass. Do all those. We're just going to make one of these. 
All right, now we need this energy acceptor because uh, if we can put that in there. that charging anyways need the energy acceptor because this stuff will not accept just RF there it goes you see that turned into a charge certus quartz right there um, well I guess I guess since uh, we seem to not know anything with this new mod pack. Let's, uh, by putting it in there. Oh, well, that guy accepts RF, so you don't even need, oh, I guess you need to find charged Certus Quartz in order to make your first couple Fluix Crystals. Um... But then after that, I don't I don't even know if we need this energy acceptor. This uh this might just be able to connect just as is. Which would be pretty cool. But we are going to need some of that. Now, if I put one of these in here. So it's a one to one ratio. Not the best deal ever and the only reason like I think the only reason we need okay so we can put a fluix seed in there and we can just put a fluix crystal in there interesting so what we will be doing is taking some sand Looks crystals. Oh, those need to be powderized. Which I guess we do here, and then we're just going to pull them out before they have a chance to process. And then this will turn into eight, and then we can put that in there, and that'll go just as fast, and it'll double our yield. And so that's that's the main reason to go with the pure forms of the crystals is you can use or you get twice as much. You can turn one one crystal into two pure crystals. All right. Cross the middle. Oops. Top and bottom. Take 12 of them for now. Then we'll do fiber. And yeah, a bunch of those. Awesome. Now, oh, <laughs> all right. Now the next step is sticky piston. Oh, I guess so we need one for each of these and then one for each of those. So we will need more of these. This will get us more than started. There is the calculation circuit there, which needs pure. So we need presses, and I don't think I have any no i don't have any but what i do have is this master infusion crystal which i got some what's it called supremium yeah i did get some supremium from fighting the withers so i went ahead and made one of these guys which it means we can take some of this stuff and so what, what i'm getting at is these calculation or these presses can be made using quartz essence because i'm sure every meteorite within a reasonable traveling distance oh they can also be copied with a block of iron interesting um every every meteorite within a reasonable traveling distance i'm sure has been explored so we are going to make some of these, which is just tier three. Okay. Anyways, we'll put that back. Come here and go down to over here where we have some potatoes. We'll swap it out for some essence. So that will grow. I will sleep. 
Don't know what happened to my sleeping bag. Must still be upstairs. We'll let that grow for a little bit. But for now, this is where our power comes from. And we have power here. So let's flip these guys around to the other side for now. Put them one, two, three, four, five. That way we can easily power them. And I believe this should power all of them. We'll see. Put a pure Certus Quartz in there. Go and see if we have, yeah, eight of this stuff. Twelve of it, but uh, like so. It'll give us six, so we'll definitely use this essence. There we go. And now we should be able to throw that in there. And yeah, look at that, it's processing. So maybe we don't even need ME, like ME cables and stuff. We will for automation, but for stuff like this, we won't. We'll just throw it in the next one. We, we will organize this eventually and we can feed hoppers into this, which we might do just to make it easier. Go up here. Grab ourselves a couple pieces of redstone and over here to take out those guys, take out those guys, but those three in there and this will make us our first engineering processor. Nice. You up those guys. Oh, I'm surprised we didn't get an achievement for that. Either way, that is enough to come back up here and go. Applied Energistics ME Drive. We need some iron. Now, sort of the next step is to create an ME terminal, which, yeah, but I made those to make it. All right, pure dust logic. We have formation and annihilation cores. We need to make an illuminated panel, which is just some redstone, glowstone, iron, and quartz glass. Now we have an ME terminal, which this will let us access our storage system. But we can also get together a crafting table. Let's just take this one here. We collect that, yeah, nice. Crafting table, and this will give us an ME crafting terminal, which will allow us to craft things directly out of our storage system. So we can put it on there. There, we can see we have no storage, but uh, it's, yeah, it's there. We'll get that figured out. Um, I did put the energy acceptor because this terminal has to be mounted on a Fluix cable. So for some of it, we will need to use it. But we should be able to come in here and make ourselves some storage units. Make two of them, because I have two of uh, these logic processors, and then we need more quartz glass. Then make a couple of these guys, and we have storage. So we'll slide these storage cells in there. Now we can throw things like potatoes in there, and it'll fill up in here. There, another bonus chicken. Oh, and hey, this is growing down here. So I did have this ender lily up in the cloche, which was this one before uh, before I had potatoes in there. So I had them up here with some endstone and the ender lily and it just wasn't growing. So 
There you go, that. Wow. Okay, awesome. We're getting lots of those. This guy's full of mushrooms, and th these guys are full of sulfur. Awesome. I did upgrade this to the advanced, so now it holds 3.2 million RF. Cool. So, I guess we can take this charger down towards our ME stuff. I'll work on getting this more set up. I guess we can sort of work on that. There, we'll just put it there for now. We can work on that some more next episode. Show you guys some more tips and tricks that I like to do with ME. Um, and figure out how to make storage buses and input and output buses work. Because we want to hook up this storage, and we can hook up all these storage drawers to our ME system. And it will be awesome. Also, still haven't cleaned up those chests. Still have a couple chests over there. But having the ME system will help clean up this clutter. Actually, let's run over here. What's in here? A lot of junk. You. Oops. You go in there because you're important. All right, what we can do in there, eh. Let's take something like this. There, a bunch of junk. Oh, and there's a squid and a lasso there. Interesting. Let's run over here and we can just dump all of this stuff into our ME system. That way we can clean up all of this. Might as well just take everything we can out of here, put it into our ME as much as possible. Wanna hold on to that. There. Starting to get things full. Beautiful. Now we can scroll through, we can search for whatever we want to search for. And yeah, things are looking good. That will do it for today's episode. A little jittery here. Thanks you guys for checking it out and I hope you did enjoy. I'm super excited about getting this ME stuff set up because this will make storing stuff a lot easier. Let me know if you have any comments. If you want to like the video, please feel free. Subscribe if you want to see more. But that is all for me. See you guys next time.